Aligning structural elements in Revit structure could not be easier. All you've got to do is know where to click and which element to select first. It's very, very easy. All you've got to do is go to the Modify tab on the ribbon first. You don't even need to select an element. This brings up the Modify tools available to you in Revit structure, and you don't even have to have an element selected to use these. So on the Modify panel, on the Modify tab, you'll see the Align command there. If I hover over that, you'll get the little Autodesk video. You can see the little red line is showing where you want to align it to. So you click once, click twice, and it aligns those walls. Very, very easy. Now in our particular Revit project, we're in the first floor structural plan, and I want to align this beam here with this beam here. Now to do that, I go to Align. I select the beam I want to align to first. So I click on that beam first, and I then click on this beam here. Have a look at the option bar as well. I've got multiple alignment and prefer wall faces up here. So I can align a beam to a wall face if I want to, and I can do multiple alignment. I don't have to do it to just the one object. So I can click here, and you'll see that that beam now aligns with that beam there. And also, can you see, I've got the option of creating or removing a length of alignment constraint. So I can constrain those two beams together to make sure that if one beam is moved, the other one follows. I won't do in this case, I don't need to lock it. I hit Escape now to come out of the Align command, and I can go back, for example, to the Structure tab to start placing other structural elements.